Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Matthew from Karibu Corona. Today we're going to be doing another market watch. Today is Wednesday, February the 3rd. And let's just hop into this. So the first thing that really caught my eye when looking through prices was the Battle Styles pre-orders have started to go up uh, pretty dramatically. I remember we looked at this about <clears throat> two weeks ago. His booster boxes were around like 120 and I think that both the Elite Trainer boxes were around 50 to 55 dollars so these have both gone up so this is something to keep an eye on uh i don't believe we've had any spoilers yet i know that we just got some spoilers for shining fates or at least like people like lee and hart got sent some of the cards to uh reveal and we already you know somewhat know what's in there from the japanese versions but that's all i'm going to say about battle styles for now if you're thinking of picking it up 150 is not a terrible price for a booster box um it might be worth waiting though to see what's actually in the set um, next, we've got Shining Fates. The Shining Fates craziness continues. These Elite Trainer boxes are slowly edging up over time. They're up to almost $150 now. Um, and all of the other product has also like been uh, slowly marching up. Now I wanted to do like a slight comparison. If you look here on eBay, this is the cheapest one that I found. And this isn't from like an established seller. This guy's only selling two. And he's selling them for about $115 uh, with free shipping. So... These, again, are just on the rise. We've learned that people aren't, the stores aren't getting as much as they ordered, something, you know, like 10% of their, like, you know, they could ask for as much as they want, and a lot of stores are getting, you know, 10% or less of their allocation. Um, and it is coming in multiple waves, so even if they do end up getting their whole order, it's not going to come all at once, so it's going to be kind of staggered. So I still think that the mad dash for this is going to be really intense. And if you don't, haven't already pre-ordered it, um, I feel like it's getting a bit too pricey as I mentioned in my like previous market watches. So I would just honestly be, again, reaching out to your local LGS, talking to them, see if they'll sell it to you for a, a decent price. And also you gotta check your big box stores the two days leading up to and the day of, because sometimes these big box stores, the vendors don't really know the dates, they just have the product and they'll go and put it up early. I've had that happen a couple times. Um, next we're gonna be jumping into stuff that's already uh, open. We've got uh, Vivid Voltage, which has been on a sharp increase in the past couple of weeks. I remember that the booster boxes are around 160 about a month ago, and they've been climbing up ever since. We're sitting around 230 for a booster box here. This is definitely a sharp increase. The uh, Elite Trainer boxes are also on the way up to around $80. So they're basically online with the Champion's Path. Now, honestly, I think Vivid Voltage is a better buy than Champion's Path. There's way more value in it. You know, obviously, you, you know, you get more packs in Champion's Path and you get a rare in every uh, pack, but, or a hollow in every pack, excuse me. But this, the, the caliber of the pulls in general are, are better. I think like on average, you're gonna get better pulls out of Vivid Voltage. So if you see these in your uh, big box store, or your local game store at a, like MSRP, I definitely think about picking these up because they are going to the moon. And, you know, one of the reasons because of that is you got the uh, Pikachu VMAX Secret, the chase card from this set, the one that everybody wants, and it's, you know, $400. Like, there's there's one guy over here, he's, you know, a smaller seller, around 371 He just wants to get rid of it, so this will probably go pretty soon. But everything else, you know, 400 plus. So this card has been going, going, gone. It's uh, we're getting a little, it's a little late to be picking up uh, this guy, I believe. Now, we've also got the Pikachu V full art has also gone up in price quite a bit. I think the last time I looked at this, it was around $65. And now it's jumped up all the way to 100 bucks, basically. So this is, you know, everything in Vivid Voltage is kind of, you know, getting a, getting a shot of energy. It's all going through the roof. I thought I'd do to take like a more like kind of outside view of it. We can take a look at other things. The Nessa Secrets going up to about 60. The Bay or beef is up to almost 40, the secret's almost 40, the Nessa Full Art's almost 40, the Leon's over 30, the VMAX Pikachu, which I remember wasn't like a big deal, maybe like 15 bucks is over $30. Uh, the Amazing Rare Rayquaza is up over 31. You've got the uh, Nurse Joy over at 30 bucks. I mean, everything is just kind of going crazy. And this is, we're gonna be talking about this a bit, a lot through the video because a lot of the price movement that I've seen in the last couple weeks has been around these full art and secret trainer cards. The waifu tax is real, and this waifu tax, people, you know, we've known about this for a couple weeks now, is extended to other trainers. Like, all trainers are going up. 
like all the full art trainers across the board that I've seen at least are all on their way up. You know, you look through, you know, the Jirachis are up a little bit, Raikou's not, Celebi's not, and like, you know, some of the like, you know, the Colossal VMAX, the uh, Galarian Darmation, like these things aren't really going up that too much. They did go up, but they're not going up at the same rate as the, uh, the trainers. So it's, you know, just something to keep in mind that this set is kind of going out of print like there isn't a lot available right now so the prices are just going to climb climb and climb so next we've got the champions path lead trainer box this one's holding steady at around 80 bucks for a box you know i i wouldn't recommend picking it up at this price um there sh might be reprints of it later in the year i think i heard that there might be a reprint towards the end of 2021 so this is something that i would hold off on because if you look you know you can get the charizard v max secret here which is running about 300 bucks, and that's about where it was uh, the last time I did Market Watch, about two weeks ago. So this one isn't making a whole lot of movement. The same with the uh, Shiny Secret. This one is still hovering like right under 300 bucks. This one's actually gaining a little bit. The uh, Shiny, the Rainbow one was the more expensive one, and now they're pretty much neck and neck. So it's, if you have these, I, I would personally would suggest holding on to them. And if you want them, I would suggest buying them instead of going through the Elite Trainer boxes. So this is interesting. So last time we looked at Rebel Clash, people were sending it shipped $40, right? That's less than MSRP. People were just trying to get rid of it. And this kind of full art trainer craze has basically made every set go up. Um, you know, these are literally shipped to your door $70. It was $40 two weeks ago. I was still seeing these in big box stores like literally the entire pokemon section would be completely gone and there'd be like two or three of these rebel clash elite trainer boxes just sitting there uh, i didn't pick up any because you know it was 40 dollars, and i looked through the set at the time and there didn't seem to be anything like worth picking up but if you start looking through here like the booster boxes are edging over 150 i believe these are around 120. You got the sonya secret full art trainer 46 dollars Got the boss's order secret, $35. Normal Sonya, $35. Normal full art boss's orders, $25. You've got the Oleana secret over $20. The normal one over $18. So what we're seeing here is the normal full arts are catching up with the secret prices, and the secret prices are also raising. So this is happening across the board. Like this is, you know, this is personally my opinion about why these have gone up. This is the only reason that Rebel Clash is going up is because everyone's buying up these full art trainers and there just isn't a lot in circulation. They're not reprinting the set. There wasn't a whole lot of demand for it. So then you, like, you, you also see, you start looking down in here, you know, a lot of the other cards that were hovering around five, 10 bucks have also gone up a little bit. So it's just something to, uh, to keep in mind that the things that you might have thought were not that great are on the way up. Like even the tins, so these tins I believe only will have like two packs of Rebel Clash in it maybe. You know, these are 25 bucks MSRP and they're basically sold out and they're hedging over uh, $30. You take a look here, um, you know, round 32 and then quickly to 40. There's not a whole lot, so I think people have, this just wasn't something people were sitting on. So that's just something to keep in mind. So now we're going to be looking at the uh, Sword and Shield base set. So Sword and, Sword and Shield base set is interesting because these booster boxes are almost at $200 now. And we're seeing the full art trainer craze. You know, we always knew Marnie was like a card that people cared about. But now the secret's edging to around 70 and the full art's edging to around 60. So this is, you know, the, pulling this is way harder than pulling the full art. And they're actually edging out close in price. There's just something to, you know, keep in mind that you might have had some full arts laying around and you're just kind of like, eh, like, I'll just hold on to them. You know, it's not worth selling them for 10 bucks, but they're coming up and it might be something to, like, stay holding on to. Like, don't buy into the craze and hold on to it because it might just keep going up. It might just moon. And on that kind of same note, these tins. So I've seen these tins literally everywhere. Like, uh, every target I go into has got, like, 20 of them. People are not buying these, and I just do not get it, right? Like, they, you've got a couple of people selling them. This is kind of like the wall right here. you got a guy with 50 over here selling them for 40 bucks, and it is a really good product if you can pick it up for 25 bucks. It comes with um, an Evolutions pack, which are running, I think, like 16 bucks a pack. It comes with one 
Cosmic Eclipse or Unbroken Bonds, which run about like $10, $12 a pack, I believe. Then it comes with um, one or two of the base set, which is on the way up. And then it can come with like a Rebel Clash or a Darkness of Blaze or something. So like overall, you add up those values, it's way over $25 MSRP. And the promo is worth like two or three bucks. And it's a cool place to put your cards. So if you see these, these are definitely like something to be picking up and investing in. I think these are going to continue to go up as the scarcity continues. This might be the only place people can reliably get these packs. So I think I, I skipped something. I did not. Okay. So we're going to head back here. We've got Cosmic Eclipse. Now, Cosmic Eclipse, similar uh, kind of situation where the supply on it is basically dried up. These booster boxes are over 400. These elite trainer boxes are like, what is this, $250? Like, is that, yeah, that's that wasn't a, a typo or anything. It said the market price was like 140. People aren't selling these for under 240. And like the pulls in here, again, we're gonna notice a trend here. What do we see at the top? We've got a Rosa full art. We've got a Lily's full force full art. We got a Pikachu secret with Ash in it. We've got these alternate art tag teams. We've got red and blue. So the, the things that people are really caring about now are these trainers. And it doesn't have to be a waifu. It can just be named characters. Now we saw this with, I think it was Evolutions, where the Misty's full art trainer was going up. And we saw like some of the Brock stuff going up. And like, I took that as kind of like a signal that like maybe this was going to be happening to the rest of the market. So I picked up a couple of these kind of like full art trainer cards with named characters who I felt were important or OG. I didn't pick up too much. I picked up like... I don't know, like two or three, just because I wanted to have them. I wasn't trying to flip them. I just wanted to have them for my collection. But, you know, even just the normal, like, secrets in this set are insanely expensive. Like, there are so many cards in here that are over $20. Like, I'm not going to go through looking at them all, but the entire first page is filled with cards and products over $20. So, if you can find these packs, which you can find, there's like a 50% chance you'll get those in those uh, tins I mentioned earlier. Like, it's almost worth the price of a box. Like how much is a booster pack? Where can I find a booster pack here? Um, we're on page three. Booster packs, eight bucks. Like, and you know, it's it's a warranted price. Do you see like the prices on these singles? There's so much stuff over $5. Like we're literally on page three and there's still things over $5. So if you see Cosmic Eclipse, I'd definitely pick it up. On a similar vein, Unified Minds is also a good set that kind of rotated out. There was a recent restock of this at a lot of Walmarts. I saw a couple of YouTubers talking about it. I also picked up some of my Walmart where you could buy like the, uh, the three uh, packs of them. And you know, these, these cards are also really expensive. You got the Unified, the box is almost $300. The Elite Trainer box is over $200 with the big chase cards being, you know, you got the Mewtwo and Mew GX secret, the Dragonite GX secret. And what's this? What's, is this a full art trainer card? Is this a full art trainer card? And you know, you see the difference here, you know, blues, favorite character, 41 bucks, Misty, waifu bait, over a hundred. Just something to keep in mind, guys. And you know, even all the other cards in the set, you can see are actually holding decent value. Like the first page, everything's over 20. There's plenty of good, in here. Next we're going to be looking at evolutions because it's just fun to look at. You know, I love opening this set and it's kind of interesting to look at the price of sealed products of evolutions versus the actual price of the cards. Because if you compare evolutions to unified minds to cosmic eclipse, the pulls are worse. Like on act, like if you're looking at it, you know, the most expensive cards you're getting out of here, you know, you got the Charizard a little bit over hundred, this Charizard at around 70 and a Blastoise at 25, right? Like this is significantly less on, you know, the kind of pulls you can get. But you know, you see the booster boxes nearing $900. You've got these EX premium collections, almost around $200. Like if you try and find like a single pack of evolutions, I've seen them selling on eBay for like 15 bucks, I think. You know, you got another Charizard here at 24. This Dragonite was literally like $6 like three months ago. The Misty's Determination's coming up. Yeah, Pack of Evolutions sets you back about $14. And again, those tins, those tins come with a Pack of Evolutions, a Pack of Pot Cosmic Eclipse, and two Sun and Moon base set. Like, 
I mean, you know, just do some math here. That's over. That's like over thirty dollars just without even counting that fifth pack. That fifth pack is just gravy at that point. Definitely something to keep in mind. And this is one of the cards I wanted to pull up as kind of an example of kind of like noticing trends and kind of trusting your gut. Now, I'm not suggesting that you know, oh, uh, you have a hunch about something, go buy a hundred copies of it and you know blow your life savings on it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like as a collector, if you're someone who you think you know. At some point, I might want to have, you know, a full art trainer collection, or I just want, the, like, you know, the Team Rocket cards or things like that. When you start noticing trends, it's important that you, like, trust your gut and you act on them. Because when I saw this card, I literally went through, and I saw that people were buying up the, the waifu full art trainers. And this was, you know, a couple, it was like a month or two ago. So, like, probably when they're about half the price they were now. And I looked up, and Giovanni's Exile was one of the cheapest full arts uh, trainer cards. Or I guess it's a supporter, technically. Um, and, you know, I like Giovanni. He's a named character. He is the main bad guy. Like, he is the big bad from the OG set, you know. And whether the card is actually good or not, completely irrelevant. But I saw these for around, like, 75 cents on TCG Player for a near mint hollow foil. And now they've gone up, like, seven, eight times that. So it's just, you know, something to try and keep in mind. Like when you start noticing trends, trust your gut. It's important to, you know, like I'm doing this to try and help you guys like notice trends, stay ahead, keep you guys informed. But you also need to do your own legwork as well because if you're getting the information from me, other people are hearing it too. And, you know, I'm not a big channel right now, um, but, you know, at some point I could be or there could be someone else with a big channel. If you're getting it from... One of you know a guy with 50k views that's 50k other people that also know what's going on so i'm not saying you know to panic and just rush out and just you know go crazy but it's important to you know listen to your intuition and do some of this stuff on your own um but that was all that i had for this video today let me know in the comments down below if there are any cards you want me to look up in next week's market watch i'm sorry i missed uh a week I was super busy, had a backlog of videos that I was trying to get ready for you guys, so I apologize about that. Um, also, don't forget that we're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway over on Instagram to give away a Charizard V promo from the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. So go over there and check that out, go follow me. And also, if you're interested in having being in one of my pack opening videos, like if you want me to open product for you and just have me ship you the polls, then you can subscribe to my Patreon and then you can uh, I'll reach out to you or you can reach out to me and we can talk about the specifics on that. But overall, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.